Among the several variant xenomorphs developed by Kenner, the snake xenomorph, or simply snake alien, remains one of the more distinct alien types we've seen from that era, presenting a version of the xenomorph that seems to have had a snake for its host. Unlike some of the other variants we've seen from these alternate host concepts, the snake xenomorph's appearance is definitely a departure from the original. This xenomorph, of course, has no appendages, though its head is hooded with surrounding claws. This xenomorph still carries the signature inner jaw we've seen on most xenomorphs, though similar to a predalien, the snake xenomorph has mandibles on its upper jaw. In line with the other designs from the series, the snake alien made its appearance in the Dark Horse-produced Space Marines comic series, which accompanied each Kenner action figure. The issue featuring the snake alien, Night Strike, featured the Marine Squad on Colony Terraform 3, a wooded area, and finding themselves in combat with an alien queen and surrounding bull aliens. During this battle, it was from the woods where the snake xenomorph, described as striking like lightning, began to attack. Whether from instinct carried over from the host, or through its own nature, the snake version of the xenomorph seemed to have adapted remarkably well to its environment able to hide in tall grass to move in for its attacks and wrap itself almost entirely around a tree. The force of its strike was also shown as being quite significant, effortlessly biting through a branch in an attempt to take down Bishop. Though this version of the Xenomorph is certainly different than the norm, it's an interesting notion nonetheless to consider what an alien may look like depending on its host, though even with the snake alien, there may be slight disagreements over the resulting creature. For example, this variant wasn't limited to the Space Marines comics alone. The concept was also used for the 1993 video game Alien vs. Predator, with the snake alien appearing as a boss. In this case, the snake alien retained the design of having a long tail with no legs, but it included two arms and no jaw mandibles, making its upper torso much more recognizable as a xenomorph and less serpent-like than the Kenner design. Which design looks better or makes more sense may be a matter of opinion, but it was the appearance in the Kenner toy and comic line that seemed to make a larger impression. As with previous designs such as the Gorilla Alien and the Mantis Alien, it was recently announced that the Snake Alien has underwent a new and updated design by NECA Toys, and the new figure will be along soon. Also to be released, the Scorpion Alien, as previously explored on this channel, and an update to Sergeant Apone, as he appeared in the comics. Biomechanical arm accessory, no bugs t-shirt, and all. Of course, at the end of the day, the Kenner designs were created with selling toys in mind, but they really touched upon something. There's a reason why these toys and the little comics that came with them have maintained the interest of fans for over 20 years now. They're really cool designs, they're interesting, and I think these designs offer a larger suggestion of what the Xenomorph Parasite is capable of doing, depending on the host. Are you a fan or collector of NECA's updated designs from this series? What designs do you think they should update next? Comment below and let me know. And as always, I'd like to thank you very much for watching. I really appreciate it, and if you enjoyed this video, please make sure to give it a like, and you can also subscribe for all the latest videos from the channel. A very, very special thanks goes out to Wayland Jutani Executive, M. Yorick, part of the Patreon Hive. I'd also like to thank our Hive's queens, Lady Anne and Kamathy Thomas. If you'd like to join the Hive and support the channel, check out my Patreon page for exclusive posts and contests. In the meantime, you can catch up with Alien Theory over social media. Follow at Alien underscore Theory on Twitter and at Alien Theory YT on Facebook and Instagram for more. And until next time, this is Alien Theory, signing off.